plus J, they call the dual right and that is the two pi. Obviously, if two pack was still around, there, there will be no Jada and Will. <laughs> See, this is the thing. When you leave an impact on a woman, you can still be alive and broke up with that girl. If you leave an impact on her, she will still be thinking about you 10, 15 years down the line. It's called an imprint. It's called an imprint. So you leave an impact or an imprint on a girl, 15 years there, she will still be hoping that secretly one day, you know, you get back together and that. Yeah, Alpha Widow, literally. So trust me, there's some girls, yeah, like they're with man right now and the guy is just a rebrand. You know, like certain girls, they always need to be in a relationship and that. And I know a story, I ain't gonna say no one's name, where a man must have knocked up a girl Got the girl pregnant, obviously, and he had the youth, but the guy didn't want the youth, yeah? He just disowned the youth. For like four or five years, my man didn't see the youth or nothing like that. And the girl had a new boyfriend. You know, he phoned her up and he said to her, listen, yeah, I think we need to take things seriously. I want to get back with you and that. She dropped the guy out, dropped him like a bad habit, dropped him like a hot cake. Literally, the living boyfriend that she had, she just got rid of him. Because the guy that she really wanted came back to her life. Then she ended up getting beaten up by him anyway. So what was the fucking point? She probably was better off with the other guy, to be fair. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, fam. That's what I'm saying, fam. Man, if have to be uh, rough around the edges and that, that don't mean you have to be a stab-up, stab-up man or a shooter and that. But you got to have a little bit of edge to you. Yeah, you. You think you can be a comedian and be a joke man in real life and that, and, and a girl going to take you seriously. No, fam. No. Well, you're not certain where a girl will, will, will marry you and be banging the bad boy around the corner. Or the bad boy at her workplace or something. She will use you for your free providing and that. They yeah, are oh, dates, um, nice house, nice car that you're funding and that. And then secretly, and but I know, man. I know, man. One of my brethren told me he was checking a girl that had a boyfriend, and the girl was talking about, listen, I can get you stuff, you know, I can get you Gucci and that, I can get you a Gucci wallet or these trainers and that because this boyfriend gives me money and that. This is what a girl will do, you know. She will be with a boyfriend who's a sucker, be using him for his money, because man them give girls money. But I've never given no girl money. Obviously, I've given a girl money, say, yeah, take this, go to shop, get this, or buy this, and I'll transfer the money back to you. Yeah, that's cool. But my mom and my auntie told me from day, never give a girl money. If you want to take her out and then spoil her or something, some real neaky shit, like, oh, I'll pay for her to get her nails done and that, pamper her and that, yeah, that's cool. Do that. But never physically back out 10 or 20 and say, yeah, here, 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 have this or whatever. Really. Yeah, like, here's, here's spending money. Here's an allowance. Coming like Hillary Banks from fucking Fresh Prince, since we're talking about Will and that. Don't be giving your girl no allowance. Anyway, my brother was dealing with one thing and the boyfriend used to give her money and that. And she said, yeah, what do you need? Like, I can try get you Gucci and that. Uh, I'll buy you this wallet and that. My man... Probably ain't beating as well, you know. The boyfriend who's supplying ain't getting nothing. Yeah? But my brethren is getting it. Fam. This is 